Hello all. Welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about import management in Oracle Application Composer, or you can call it as data import. So let's see what are the steps involved for this one. So we'll consider an object called XX Approver user, and we'll see the detailed steps involved in performing data import. The first thing is, this is one of the sample object which I'm considering, which is having two fields. One is Approver username, other one is approver email. So there are just two columns in this one. Okay. Now, so how do we start performing import? You have to navigate to tools, click on import management. Once you click on import management, there are a couple of options will come across. If you observe in this particular screenshot, there are three tabs. First thing you have to understand is like, uh, we have considered which particular object we want to import. And after choosing that one, once we navigate to the import management tools, you just need to click on the second tab called import object. Here you search for the object which for which you want to import. So one more thing, remember your particular application has to be deployed. I mean to say it should have been published one. Then you just click on search here. Once you click on search, you will be able to find your object. Then you just click on download. This particular step will perform a downloading. It will it will download a zip file. In that zip file, you'll find two files. One is readme.txt and other one is your particular object name underscore c dot csv. Okay nothing but the API name of your object dot CSV. It will download a CSV object, CSV file. So that will have generally, it will have all the columns as well as a record ID, as well as a record number, and then currency code also will be there. These are the three additional columns which will be there. Record ID, record number, as well as currency code. And remaining are the user defined data fields for which you have to enter. And the remaining fields, the, the standard fields will be auto-populated. Okay, so now here if you observe, this is a CSV file which you got downloaded. And here I'm trying to enter only for the record name as well as email information. So here, what is the thing I'm considered is the record name is my username. Record name I've considered it as my username. And the ID and record number and currency code that will be auto generated. ID and record number will be auto generated. And currency code is a predefined field. But if you at all, if you enter the data, it's fine. If you don't enter also, it will be okay. By default, it will be null. I have entered the data only for record name as well as approver email. Once you enter the data, the next step what you have to do is go to tools, import management. You click on import queue and there you perform. You just need to click on a button called create import activity and then it will navigate to another page where it involves three steps. The first step, you have to mention the name of your import activity. It can be any user defined name. It is just required for the purpose you to validate your particular import activity, what is the status of your particular import activity, if at all, if you're performing import for a large number of things. Mention the import activity name, then select the object, and then select the CSV file. Select the updated CSV file. Once you select that, click on next, and then it will validate the entry in your particular CSV file with the entry in the target attributes. If you think it is good, then you click on next, and then you can click on next, and then you can click on submit. Once you submit, it will perform the respective operation like a queue import, active import, in progress, and then finally it will give you the status my in the my completed import a success or a failure. Based on the log, you can understand whether it failed or it succeed. Right? So now we'll technically we'll practically we'll try to well perform all these particular steps. The first thing we have to understand is what is the object we want to perform import. So this is the object which for which I want to upload the data, which is having only two fields, approver username as well as approver email. Then I will navigate to tools and then you click on import management. So this particular step will download a zip file. Okay. Click on import management and then click on import object. Okay. Then you search for the object XX app approver user email. Okay. So this is a particular one. So this particular step will download a zip file. So I'll just cut paste and uh, navigate here. Okay, I'll just extract this one. Extract all. Okay, now this is our file. So double double click on this one, open the file. Okay, so it will clearly tell you what are the columns available. Expand this one. So now here we just want to enter the data only for two fields, record name as well as approver email. And I'll just mention here, let us say username 002 is my data, username 003. 
www.fedrate.test.com is my email id we can try to enter the data for a couple of extra fields like let us say i'll just drag and drop like this okay this is not correct right so what you can do is just can type it or Okay, I think it is fine. So this particular record, the second record, it should be deleted. That's it. So this is our actual data, two, three, four, five, six. So five records we, have, we are entering. Now copy the location. This is our location of the file content, right? Copy this location. And now what is the next step? You just navigate. Click on import queue. Click on create import activity. XX approver user 002. And now you select the object. XX approver user then choose the file you have to choose the csv file remember click on next and here you can validate so here it validates the first record the example value this is the email and seems okay right click on next and then in the final step you can click on submit it will take a couple of seconds or minutes based on the data or your system usage and then you also get an email also if at all if your email is configured in the system you'll get an email also saying that what is the status of that or you can observe here itself maybe by just waiting for a couple of minutes this in progress as of now we go to this step and we'll get to the step and that's it so finally so you can just try to validate here So as of now it is not loaded right so let's wait for some time click on others x6 october user they're still loading so this is how you know like we can load the data for the in the application composer object as of now it is having only two fields right but in general what if at all if you're having a lobby and other things right what we have to do is you have to mention the id of your lobby component those kind of uh, like a pages with the dependence on the lobby we'll discuss those particular things in the next section for now we just loaded the data for a single page where you don't have any dependence on other page right the dependent pages the data for the dependent pages we'll try to discuss in the next particular session thank you